Hey everyone, it's Jay Mills from iPhoneBlogger.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial that I know a lot of people have been waiting for for a very long time. Last night, Muscle Nerd released Red Snow 0.9.14 B1, which allows iPhone 3G and 3GS users who have updated to the iPad baseband to downgrade back to a ba another baseband that's compatible with Ultra Snow that will still let them use their GPS capabilities, which the iPad baseband notoriously disables. So first of all, I've got an iPhone 3G here. It's jailbroken on 4.2.1 right now. Uh, I know my camera is pretty bad quality, but uh, I'll show you real quick. Just go down here. Don't know if you can see that, but it says 06.15.00. So I'm on the iPad baseband on my iPhone 3G jailbroken on 4.2.1. The first thing I'm going to do is download Red Snow. Um, I'll post the link in the description where you can download Red Snow from and I also am going to download a iPhone 4.2.1 firmware for my device which I'll provide a link where you can get the firmware as well. So once you have the firmware and Red Snow downloaded the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the extras screen on Red Snow and select your IPSW that you downloaded. So I'll just select mine and it tells you right here that Red Snow will be used for the rest of the session. And then you can go ahead and hit back and then this time hit jailbreak and after it prepares the uh, jailbreak data here you'll see that there's a new option on the option screen that says uh, downgrade from iPad baseband so right here downgrade from iPad baseband you want to check that box on the option screen and then also if you're not jailbroken you can check the install Cydia box here as well that way it'll both jailbreak your device and downgrade from iPad baseband at the same time but since I'm already jailbroken as I showed you earlier, I'm just going to leave install Cydia unchecked and leave downgrade from iPad baseband as the only option. So then when you hit next, um, it'll tell you that you have to enter DFU mode. You want to be sure that before you enter DFU mode, you completely shut your phone down. That means holding down the power button until you get the slide, slide to power off and then sliding it off. You want to be sure that you shut it down in this uh, fashion because if you don't it could cause issues when you're um, downgrading the iPad baseband. So once you have that done go ahead and hit next and it'll walk you through the um, DFU mode options. So hold down home for three seconds then hold home and power for ten seconds. And then release the power button but continue holding the home button for another ten seconds. Alright, now Red Snow has detected my device in DFU mode and Red Snow will take over the process from here. So I'm just going to speed it up a little bit and I'll come back when we get to the uh, downgrading baseband portion which I'll talk to you about real quick. Alright, so on this step right here it says flashing baseband, do not interrupt. Um, this process can take anywhere from 3 to 8 minutes and you're not going to get any sort of visual feedback from the device during this time. Um, it is very, very important that you do not interrupt this process because if you do, it could cause issues that are irreversible. So just make sure that while it's doing this process, you just let it go. It takes a while. Just let it sit and come back when it's finished. All right, so the process is complete now. So if I slide to unlock my phone, go to settings, and then go to general and then go to about and scroll down to the modem firmware uh, I know you can't see it again but it does say 5.13.04 now which is another ultra snow compatible baseband but you can unlock on this baseband and not lose your GPS capabilities so that's all there is to it be sure to check out our website iphoneblogger.com for more tutorials downloads and news as well as live chat for all your jailbreaking unlocking needs thanks